Callum, how are you doing, buddy? Uh, just a very quick message from me and Adam at Foot Cell. Um, you've had one of these before. And I think the main purpose of this is just to encourage you. And I think that you do need to hold on to this. We can see, I talked to Adam and I said, what do you think for Callum? And he just said, look, I think he's improving in every area. And I do think that's really true. I've noticed in the last two and three games we played that you've improved in every, every aspect. You're not, the ball is less of a hot potato. You're really thinking about where you're going to play your pass next. Um, there's no question the biggest thing that's going to keep helping you is these exercises. We do loads of them in class, but you'll see the videos after. Just hit them the whole time. There's sort of things you can do inside without getting in too much trouble with mum and dad. Um, but never think I'm not quick enough or I'm not this or I'm not. It will come, but it actually needs to come with all that repetition of exercises. George... Uh, He's completely different to three years ago. Uh, well, you'll remember him at school, but my God, his football has come on so much with the repetitions of those exercises. So for you, I think you do them really well when we do the exercises at the beginning of class. The next thing for you and what we're going to work on this term is this idea of being in perpetual motion. So passing the ball, but then constantly moving to get into space where you can receive it. Don't get caught in an area of the pitch where you feel comfortable constantly get on the move it doesn't take much to lose a marker once you pass the ball as soon as you move not just kids at your age but most people are lazy about marking so making that next move will make all the difference so practice 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 um but really well done again this term uh we love having you in the group and we are looking forward to seeing you very soon all right see you buddy bye We've done this loads at futsal george can just show us just move it around george and i'll talk through it you can see that he's just getting used to these little movements out to the side to orange and then forward to blue that one is the really difficult one he moved his right foot forward so he can go red x oh beautiful george really really you can see how hard that is it's fine totally fine to lose that control you are it's not about whether you can or you can't do these things i heard lots of lots of you say oh i can't do that one when george goes behind and goes to the red if he puts his right foot forward do that difficult one push george really difficult that movement but my goodness you did a brilliant job there lose control a bit it's not that you can't do it your body's just not used to it your body will get used to it with all that practice but this is just so good to get your feet used to these little movements we've just got this habit when we're practicing our football to use in movements that are big lunges big steps constantly moving the ball to whack it to shoot it to hit big passes this is how you increase your technique this is how you get better these little movements putting your body in unfamiliar situations is how you get really good footwork george is actually doing a brilliant job here but just go at the speed that's good for you just this is so good i would do it over and over again have a little go on your less favorite foot george okay very good yeah just going to get stronger and stronger doing this it's a balance really all about that standing foot and that balance but this is so good if there's only one exercise that you do when you're on your own this is the one that i choose practice over and over again that's fantastic on your weak foot really really good thank you george but please do practice this one we'll come back to it again and again in our warm-ups to get our footwork really sharp well done george so another one from our futsal warm-up we love doing this just a really simple as if george is going to play the pass so it's very similar to that l shape movement but this time it's i'm here he's going to look like he's going to play a pass to me but he's going to pull the ball back towards himself and yeah let's have a look at what that looks like really nice a good sudden stop really got to look like you're selling that pass to me if he's super confident he can look at me when he's doing it but do it slowly when you're doing that yeah love that <laughs> really nice uh, slippy old wet December day that we're on so, uh, so it's even harder doing it outside here but really nice just practice that and make sure you practice it with your weaker foot when you feel really confident you can put much more force into it to make it really look like you're selling that pass so have a go at that George try and stop it quite suddenly might skid away from you with a wet surface but have a go yeah that's lovely good do a few on your less favorite side Now, can you do it so it looks like you're going to play to me and then you're going to move away? So you look like you're going to play a pass to me and then you're going to 
take the ball away, dribble it away. Yeah, lovely. Really good. Really good. Go the other direction. So it looked like you're going to play one to me on your left side. And then you're going to go that way. So go. Lovely. Lovely. Such a good little futsal skill. You'll see that loads in um, professional futsal. Really, really effective. Practice, practice, practice. You've got to practice really selling that pass and then exploding away. This one's a little bit harder. Hang on a second, George. Just about change of direction again and selling that move. George is going to show us this slowly and then we'll take you through it. We've not done this one at futsal yet, so um, we'll take our time with it a little bit. George is going to put his foot on the ball as if he's coming towards me. Roll, stop it against his foot and then he's going to go back the other way. Excellent demonstration, George. Well done. So it's all about selling as if he's dribbling towards me. And then he's going to plant that foot down to stop the ball and go back the other way. Let's see if we can do it a tiny bit quicker and we'll have a few goes, George. Drag and then take it away. Really nice. Really nice. You have to do this really slowly just to get used to that movement. Once you drag, your foot comes over and stops the ball. Have another couple of goes, George. Really good. Whoa, it's definitely sold that. Lovely to see that right shoulder coming down. Love that, the drop of the shoulder. Come down and then push away, coming back the other way. Have another go. Lovely. Lovely little sharp movement of the ball. Get away. Good, thank you, George. Very, very difficult to do this on your less favourite side, but you do have to practice. Have a go, George. It'd be probably hard, but slow it down. It's all right, have another go. Slow down the movement on the ball. Just get used to your body doing it. Very good. There you go. And then you can quicken up as you get more comfortable as George Fitt, there you go, that's beautiful. As with all these things, when you're on your own, the key thing is to practice. It's so funny, I said this before, but even when we're in the garden on our own, we get self-conscious uh, and we shouldn't. So George, when he's on his own, should be practicing on this side because it's the one that he finds really hard. There's no one watching, there's nothing to be, well, you should be trying it in futsal because we're never going to have a go at you and no one's going to criticise you. We want you to try the things that are really difficult. It's going to make such a difference to your game if you keep practising those things that are difficult. And that means going on your less favourite side all of the time. Really good stuff, George. Well done. OK, so uh, we have done the scoop and we started doing it in our last session. Um, George, just show us... It's really difficult to explain. I think the best way is George puts his hand on the floor next to the ball. Now, what George is not going to do is ram his fingers under the ball, break his fingers, uh, and he's not going to lift the ball doing that. It, it will barely come off the floor. So what's, what would George need to do if he to lift the ball? He's got to put his ball fingers slowly under the ball, curl them, and then lift the ball up. Not going to hurt his fingers, and he gets a lovely little bit of lift on that ball. We actually need to do the same thing with our toes. It took me ages as a kid to get used to this. Slowly lift and your toes are going to do that same thing. So let's see what it looks like with your feet. Because if George just rams his foot under the ball, show us what that looks like. <laughs> he doesn't get much of a lift. You're going to hurt your toes. Let's see what it looks like. You, and you won't get that same amount of control. The beautiful thing, the same with your fingers, is when you slowly lift with those toes, show us George. You're oh, lovely. You're much more in control as how much lift you get. And in futsal, most of the time, we'll work on lift passes the more we go through the sessions, actually, this term. But all you really want to do is, if I get a foot there, is just lift it away from that outstretched leg. Beautiful. It's such a good way of beating your player. I absolutely love doing this, even out of futsal. I'm in a tight spot and we're playing out on grass. You guys are playing on your Saturdays, Sundays such a good way of evading those tackles it's so difficult for defenders even when you're squeezing between two defenders you can lift the ball so all you want is that little bit of elevation we've got these little cones here it only needs to go that high to get away from your defender and George can lift beautiful and he's away that's perfect amount if you scoop it too much the ball's in the air gives the defender a chance to recover yeah that's not going to work looks lovely and it might work for a longer pass, which again will work on this turn. But actually all he wants to do is lift and get away. So show us lift and get away and maybe get a shot off this time, George, if I come around. Lovely lift. And a great strike. Super. Thank you, George. There are two things, I think. This one being number one, actually. When we're doing our futsal, 
your first touch needs to enable your second touch. And all that means is, if I hit the ball at George and he's gonna control the ball, okay? Now, I remember getting taught as a kid to control the ball by stopping it dead, and that's not what we wanna do. I'm gonna show you what I mean. George, I'm gonna hit the ball to George. George now cannot do anything. The ball is stuck underneath him, so he's got to now move it in order to dribble, shoot, pass. So George, let's have another go. That's a position we don't want to get in. And yes, we do want you to use the bottom of your feet, but I'll show you what futsal players do every time when they control the ball. They stop the ball, but they it's one continuous movement. They then move it so they can do everything that they want to or anything that they want to do with their second touch. If I hit it to George, there, he just used the bottom of his foot to roll the ball away. And that meant that George can now shoot, pass, dribble, but all three of those should be an option for you. We've spent loads of time, so if I get George to do it on his attack foot, so you're gonna go that way on your attack foot. Lovely. That isn't always gonna be an option. It's what we want you to try and do if you can, is to use, open your body, it's the, what we spent a whole term doing, getting you to move on your attack foot. It might not always be an option. So it may be that you need to turn in a different direction, but what we've got to make sure we do is we don't get the ball stuck under us. Show us what that looks like, George. He's got, yeah, really difficult now for George to move out of that position. Unless he can do the futsal roll in one movement and get himself away. But let's just try a few different versions of George. Just first of all, try at the bottom of the foot, move away, futsal style. Lovely. And then he can play. And you can take that into a movement. You can hit it. Let's, let's see what that looks like. I'm going to hit it to you. Shift. And then you can shoot, pass, do whatever you want to do. Lovely. What are the other versions of this? So I'm going to hit it to you. Try and use a different part of your foot to enable you to have that second touch. There you go. Outside of the foot. Can we go the other way? Good, a little bit stuck under you. Let's get that one out of your feet. The, the key thing, George, come here a minute. So if we go back to our cones, George is on the spot. You actually want that, he doesn't want that ball stuck right underneath him. He needs that first touch to get him out of the cone. So let's, I'm gonna pass you the ball, George. And you just want that first touch to take you away. Lovely, and out and ready to play. So on the move, ready to play with the option to dribble, pass or shoot. Lovely, lovely little shift. It's so simple this, but it's, I would say it's the number one area where we're getting a bit stuck in our futsal. So simple, but just constantly work on it. My first touch is what allows, it's almost like an assist for your second touch, allows you to do anything you want to with your second. Dribble, pass, shoot. One more, George. Lovely. Good. Just practice it relentlessly. Thank you, George.